what's up guys you are welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics and entertainment we have another trending news for you today and the headline here read say marking the death tenable not a dime of your taxes will go to tenable's auditing firm alpha beta they have no right all right uh before i proceed with today's news please if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there's a red subscribe button below this video now just go ahead hit that red subscribe button click the bell icon beside it to remain updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again all right here are the news in details not a dime of or your state will go to lagos they have no right to collect our taxes governor say marking the blast tenable no dime for tenable alpha beta or dating firm so guys i have a video you're going to listen to the video and in the video you hear the governor of your state say you marking the a lot of you guys know him to be the action governor you get he fears no one you get so he has actually taken up on tenobu he has dead the body loan you get you get he has dead the body loan of bogu tenobu himself so you're going to listen to him and after that i want you to drop your comments and then we'll be back to discussion thank you all right so having listened to us say Maki. No, not a dime of your state money will go to lagos they're not going to collect our taxes here and they will have no business with whatever we get is that what the apc has been doing well i mean we know who uh, gave uh, your state uh, its uh, uh, finance commissioner uh, from uh, 2011 to 2015. Who? Well, uh, it's, Who? Uh, the Godfather in, uh, is, the is? God, is the Godfather in Lagos. Somebody who is staying on the popular street called Body Lord in Lagos. And that Godfather <laughs> now has moved Akalaya into the APC again, right? It's uh, fine. Your state people have spoken. We will defeat them. And that Godfather will control Adilabu, right? Of course. I mean, uh, we know where all of this is leading Adilabu to. disagrees with you. Why will he disagree? I mean, I can point out uh, quite a number of things that uh, uh, is uh, recounted. On he said not a dime. I mean, not a dime. And that has already opened up a lot of loopholes to what transpired in a previous administration. That is the government of Ajimobi. Ajimobi was the predecessor to Seyi Makinde. And we all know that a lot of these southwestern governors, you get, they all patronize um, Tinobu's or dating firm called Alpha Beta. In fact, that, has, that is what has been going on. At a point in time, I think there was a leakage about who actually runs this Alpha Beta that people said it is Tunubu himself that he has been, he has been, in fact, he has been looting Lagos dry. You get, imagine all the contracts in Lagos. I mean, virtually all the contract in Lagos is handled by Alpha Beta himself. But this guy here, the governor of or your state, He's a PDP governor. He exposed this loophole and said not a dime of what your money will go to Lagos. Imagine Lagos, Lagos auditing firm. You get collecting money from other states. I mean, this is daylight robbery. This is, I don't have to even quantify it. This is wickedness. So this guy actually stood up to dare Tinobu and I know very well there's going to be a gang up against him but you see this guy didn't need godfatherism to become a governor he just went himself and defeated and defeated um he defeated uh Ajimobi, the current governor of of your state you get I think could it be that he worked on on Aerofry's template because Aerofry gave a template on how to actually destroy godfatherism before you go to, according to Aerofry, he said, before you go to election, that you know, there's, you're going to face a godfather. What you're going to do is you start working, you get, and then you work out and take note of those people who did not vote in previous election. And then you work on those numbers and see how you can get the voice of the people. So that's what Mackin they did. He defeated the incumbent at GMOB. And ever since, he has been very vocal in a lot of things. People, we have seen him being vocal against the federal government on the ongoing Amotekun 
you know, projects that the federal government is threatening to shut down. He has been very vocal. So a lot of him is young, vibrant, and he's all the governor who has declared his asset. Even when he declared his asset, I mean, people look at the way that he got all his money from. Imagine his asset beyond. His asset were beyond, I think, two hundred billion dollars. I mean, not dollars, naira, two hundred and something billion naira. So people were saying, man. This guy declaring his asset, this is leadership by example. So I'm just trying to tell you a little about this guy. You get so this guy, um, this guy is actually the voice of the people. He speaks for the masses, he doesn't fear anyone. So, but we are waiting to see what will transpire, what will be Tinobu's you know response to this. Because man, if all the old southwest states begin to Outerly staffed Tinobu's company, the auditing the alpha beta of payment of tax. I think I would, with, with, uh, on the long run, they will, it will certainly run dry. He will run dry. So I'm going to read some comments here made by people. Um, somebody has said, Hmm, it's happening. What did I even know? Another person here says, Governor Say Makine is dealing with Tinobu's ruthlessly in all your states. Governor Sey Makine is really blocking loopholes in all your state. Kudos to him. Another person here say, determined governor. Governor Sey Makine standing up to the Southwest Baba. Tinubu is a man who is just desperate to enlarge his political empire because of greed. Yes, Sey Sage said ELCC ought not to probe this Bodilon, Bodilon Bullion Van Man. That he made his money before becoming governor of governor in 1999. You see, Alpha Beta Fem have been doing the dirty job for him for a long time. Any wonder Lagos State does not subscribe to FOI bill. You see what this guy is saying? This guy, this guy actually opened other kind of worms. He said that remember, um, Professor. Professor Itse Sage. A lot of you know him. He is a chairman of the presidential recovery. Team say he says I guess said that EFCC cannot prove Tinubu that Tinubu made his money be before he became a governor in 1999. We are not doubting that that he made his money before becoming governor in 1999. But what was his asset as a then? What was the state of his asset? Did he declare his asset as to what he has gotten now? I learned that Tinubu is one of is the number one landlord in Africa. He's the number one lalo. His asset. That's why he will never declare his asset. He will never declare his assets. So and the Alpha Beta firm is actually owned by him. All the all the old contract during right ranging from Fashola time to Amber Day's time were actually in fact it is because of Amber Day going against Tenobu's Alpha Beta that made Tenobu to remove Amber Day. That is just the dirty dirty secret. You get so that is it. Another person here says, They will soon gang up against Engineer Makinde. Tinobu's greed is undefined. Jesus, who even gave him the right to collect taxes in the Southwest? Is he the owner of Southwest? Another person here says, The boy is good. Another guy here says, But why will Oyo pay tax to Lagos? It's just like using Alibaba and paying tax to Jumia. Another guy here says, In another development, Operation Amotekun, the elders of Yoruba land are now in are now interested, not going back, saying Makinde is doing the needful on backing Amotekun to stand in the Duduwa nation. Another guy here says, um, Seyi, as the name implies, Makinde is a very energetic and dynamic young talk and do governor who is really impacting on your state with responsible leadership. Though richly made, but so humble. This is a governor that not only declared, but made available his declared assets from for public scrutiny, unlike the sanctimonious hypocrites in the APC who call themselves progressives. This is a classical standard for probity, accountability, and responsibility. He is also the first political leader I have seen that publicly accept responsibility as regards the failure of the state fire service to respond to market fire incident in a bad one. Importantly, I learned Governor Mackinde is the brain behind the recently launched Southwest Regional Paramilitary Security Outfit Operation Amoteku. This is encouraging. Well done, Your Excellency. 
it's too early but the southwest should start considering fronting mark in day or ade wumi addition and adb president with any other regional candidate for future election in nigeria still remain a united nation wow what a, a very impressive profile on jaya says um typical pdp type of governing leaving the important aims of power being in power by creating division to sway the people's attention to politics of hatred another person here says i am happy for the people of royal state i hope this governor remains on this part of honor he has chosen for himself god bless him another guy here says this one is always talking and talking did alpha beta consulting ever came to lobby him to to for tax an adulting consulting contract this one that hasn't gotten a good of our governance work busy deceiving people all around the internet useless pdp criminal are quick to use price water cooker pwc or auditing okay let me leave that uh, this guy is actually against uh marking the that's about that this spelling is just something else so i'm going to jump let me jump to this one this one says i admire your courage but i hope you won't say a different thing when you meet him other guy here says um godspeed makinde may your kind be replicated in nigeria governance wow so guys uh, there are a lot of reactions here but time will not permit me to go through all of them but suffice it to say what is your own stake on this i want to drop your comment below let's meet at the comment section and deliberate thank you very much